While Americans dominated the post-war years in the 100 and 200 metres, their stranglehold on the 400 metres was broken by runners from Jamaica. In 1948, Herb McKenley had just missed out on a medal in the 200 metres. In the 400, he was the clear favourite. McKenley's normal tactic was to run as fast as he could for as long as he could and then hold on in the final stretch. But in the last 100 metres, McKenley was tiring badly and his teammate, the six foot four inch Arthur Wint, beat him to the tape. McKenley had one final chance for a gold medal in London, the four by 400 meter relay. With McKenley waiting to run the anchor leg, Arthur Wint was making ground on the American Roy Cochrane when disaster struck. Wint pulled a muscle and was forced to stop. The Americans cruised home to an easy gold medal. Wint was inconsolable. He was comforted by McKenley, whose last chance of a medal at the London Games had gone. Four years later, in Helsinki, it looked as if his Olympic jinx was going to strike again. Having lost the 100 metres, McKenley's main opposition in the 400 again came from his compatriots. On the final straight, trailing George Roden, McKenley left his finishing kick too late. Both runners were given the same time of 45.9 seconds, but again McKenley had to settle for the silver. At 30 years of age, the 4x400 four meter relay would be his last chance of a gold medal. For the close-knit Jamaicans, the same four men for whom things had ended so disastrously four years earlier, the task was simple. Win the gold for her. But as the race progressed, it looked as if McKenley would once again be the bridesmaid. On the second leg, Gerald Cole ran a tremendous lap for the USA and handed over to Charlie Moore. When McKenley took the baton from Leslie Lang, he was a full 11 metres behind Moore, and the gold medal was on its way to the USA. <laughs> to the disbelief of the crowd and the Americans, McKenley began to gain on Moore in the last 200 metres. McKenley had turned an 11-metre deficit into a slender lead. It was now up to Arthur Wint. McKenley had his gold medal. His phenomenal leg, timed at 44.6 seconds, would have won every subsequent individual Olympic 400-metre title, apart from Lee Evans' Mexico altitude record, until 1976. The Jamaican team smashed the relay record by an incredible 4.3 seconds. To tell you that I was happy would be an understatement. I mean, to me, it was the culmination not only of a dream, but just everything that I thought could ever be possible.